Hello everybody, it's Oshaziz here. You're looking at a whole lot of power right there. You got water, which is hydrogen and oxygen. And you got this nifty looking green stuff that everybody finds obnoxious. But yet, this green stuff, which is called duckweed and water meal, literally has a bunch of power potentials. One of which, uh, you can dry it out and make fish food flakes. People can actually eat it, I hear, but uh, I would want to taste it. You're supposed to be able to boil it and knead it because this duckweed will absorb a lot of nutrients out of the uh, water. And since there's a farm field just right over that area over there, they always fertilize in that pond. I get tons and tons and tons of duckweed if there is no fish in there. So, think about what you could actually do with that duckweed. You could turn it into a biofuel, you could turn it into a fertilizer, you could turn it into fish food, and in worst case scenario, you could turn it into people food. But here's the brilliant thing about duckweed. You'll never get ahead of it using a skimmer like this, and a homemade skimmer like this right here. If I, uh, well, I got a rope tied down here. Let me take you through the process real quick. Hopefully my battery won't run down. But you see that deal out there? I'm pulling this rope a little bit at a time. All right. And basically, it is a PVC uh, plumbing, about to three or two or three inch pipe. It's filled up, filled up with expanding foam and it has a, a little uh, flap of material down the back that helps to drag the duckweed along. And so you can see it building up in the uh, deal, all right? Well, when I first started thinking about duckweed, I realized that, you know, if, a, if there ain't no fish in there to eat it, there ain't no turtles or ducks or whatever, to eat the duckweed then it will grow really thick across there blocking out the sunlight and collapsing the ecosystem of the pond and so since I love to have my fish and goldfish out there and the herring had cleaned them out well then I had to find a solution in order to get this duckweed off there and put my fish back well, you see that right there see all that duckweed is uh, captured up in there I'm gonna try let me see if I can set this over here and get a good photo all right so what I do is I take my net and I reach down in there and I grab up look at all that duck meat Ugh, throw it up in a pile throw it up in a pile just like that. Well, literally what I'm throwing on that pile that's behind me is quite a few hundred dollars worth of uh, fuel, fish food, and fertilizer. Alright, so when I get it down to a certain point, I just kind of push it out like that. And then I pile it up there and there and I just grab all the thick sections like that and as it's coming out the raft and that's how I do that so when I'm done <laughs> I start pulling her back out Normally I'm doing this with the two hands because I'm trying to keep this rope from, uh, you know, getting, uh, falling off <laughs> the pulley here, which isn't very good. So this was my, my solution for cleaning the duckweed off of my paw. Now, if you can imagine, if you had a little bit of, I'm standing on a rope so it's making it hard to pull. <laughs> So if you had the uh, forfeitude or whatever you want to call it to build an electric one, you wouldn't even have to do this manually. But there's something to be said for manual labor. 
after you see the work you've done. All right, so you keep pulling it until it gets out there to its full extent, and then you allow the duckweed to flow back in. And once it gets down here and it's tight, so it's just a pulley system that extends all the way across the pond. And look at all that duckweed that I got today. Just doing that. All right, imagine that turned into fertilizer, fish food, potentially people food for worst case scenario because it's got a lot of nutrients out of the water of the pond and off the farmer's field. And uh, there's a better look of the rig. <laughs> they say there ain't no such thing as free energy. But they're wrong. There's not only free energy, there's free fuel, free food, and if anybody is willing to sit down with me long enough, I'll explain to you how. I'll show you some really cool stuff if you give me the chance. <laughs> I tried to clean my pond up, but I realized that if I only clean half of this off a day, I could make a fortune using what nature would normally use to clean up a, a pond that was out of balance. I can clean this pond back and you'll see it when I do and in the winter time all this duckweed will soak the sink down to the bottom and be gone but in the summertime I can use it to harvest to make biofuel to make fertilizer perfect compost and fish food and worst case scenario people food. Think I'm crazy, do a little bit of research. Peace and love, everybody. Take care. Yeah, one last little addendum. My friend Neil turned a bunch of trash into a raft. I'll throw some videos at the end of this of the cat going for a ride. <laughs> no animals were hurt during the shooting of this. <laughs> they made their own free choice. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned. I think that cat's bound and determined to get off your raft. He's gonna jump. <laughs> I jump early. Thinking I might, thinking I might be a while. He has no idea what he did. Ah! Alright, of course Ah, there it is. So is that cat your co-pilot? Uh, it has nothing to do with navigation. Ah! Just yelling. Good job, man. Good job. No! Ah! <laughs> Abandoned ship. <laughs> that is the first cat that I ever seen that ain't afraid to jump in water. <laughs> he ain't coming back. Or she. Where's she at? Ah. If that cat gets back on that boat, I'll be surprised. <laughs> ah. Cat ain't have no part of your shenanigans. I can't even believe the cat jumped in the water. That was funny. <laughs> That's how much faith that cat had in your boat. I know. Is that your new boat oar? That's my oar. Now I'm rolling. Ah. Uh. You ain't rolling very fast.
<clears throat> All right, Neil and cat number two going for a ride. Ah. Hi, cat number two. Stay right there. Don't you dare. Oh, that's that. Dude. That's the second cat. I was just going to take it to the shore. Well, abandoned ship. <laughs> I can't believe that cat, that cat jumped off that raft in that water. <laughs> I don't know. That's funny. That's all I know. All right. Well, <clears throat> there's failure number two. You couldn't get a cat. Well, you did get a cat across the shore. Yeah, last time. All right. Well, I should have held it for a one out of one ain't bad. Ah. Not bad at all. <laughs> all right, peace.